Dr. McCord, can I talk to you about my thesis? Uh, sure, during office hours. Yeah, your office hours don't really work for me. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I'll need an extension. My parents are coming to town, and they're very needy. <sighs> my husband bought tickets to the opera this weekend. I gotta tell you, this is gonna make me fall asleep. I'm so sorry. I thought we were telling each other our problems. No extension. Hey, you gotta cook tonight, because I'm going into DC. Right, spy reunion. Yes. Ever miss it? The CIA? No, I miss the people. Mm. But not the life. I don't know how you can walk away. You were the best analyst we had. Mm. Well, this can't be good. Secretary of State's plane just went down over the Atlantic. He's dead. do something relaxing today. Well, this relaxes me. Oh, uh, your phone. It, it wouldn't stop ringing, so I answered it. Who is it? Some lady says it's the president's office. PTA? The United States. I recruited you for the CIA. I trained you as an analyst. I know how you think. You don't just think outside the box. You don't even know there is a box. I want you to step in. Step into what? Secretary of State. <laughs> You're joking. I realize you'll need some time to discuss this with your family. I'll give you the rest of the day. The King of Swaziland sits here. Madam Secretary, you'll be across from him. I've charted out all 10 of his wives. Basically, it's a seniority system. Why are we entertaining the King of Swaziland? The press loves stuff like this. The guy's exotic. Is it important to have all the wives? Think maybe we could have, like, cut it off at, say, three? I know you have a friendship with the president, but you're in a system now. Trying to take advantage of that would be ill-advised. How would I take advantage of that? By going around me. Got you the name of a stylist, right? A stylist? It's coming from the top. The chief of staff says I'm to be your personal appearance specialist. I don't need a stylist. The way he conveyed it to me, you don't have a choice in the matter. I've never met a situation where I don't have a choice in the matter. I have to get something to the press by tomorrow. Can I be resigned and conflicted? You can never be either of those things. Can I be cautiously optimistic? Well, that's for more serious world events. What if I'm grateful for the opportunity to expose the world to a variety of cultural differences? That's really good. Should I write it down for you? No, I'm the writer. Just as long as our roles are clear. Speaking to the president, I'd like to brief him on the Syrian kidnapping. You know, we have rights. Call the American embassy. It's a volatile situation. I don't want him being caught off guard if it hits the press. Two American kids arrested and imprisoned in Syria. Ethan and Tyler Cole, brothers from Hartford, Connecticut. We were sending Ethan to Europe for graduation. He asked Tyler to go with him. We had no idea they'd cross into Syria. If the State Department is going to take this on, it's going to cover. It has to go up the chain of command. What do you recommend? I know some people on the ground. I'd like to proceed through back channels at this point. No, we have to do it my way. We're very happy to have His Highness and all of his wives. Madam Secretary, do you have children? I do. I have a son and two daughters. A nice small family. Well, I, I just have the one husband. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Secretary, we have a problem. It has to do with Operation Stupid Kids. Is that really what we're calling it? That's what we were calling it before it went bust. Now we're calling it Operation Never Happened. They're going to execute those kids in a week. And I feel like I let the president down. Huh? By not insisting that he do the right thing. I made an unofficial move on the situation in Syria. Things are coming. Why would you do that? To save the lives of two innocent kids who aren't that much older than mine. I need to broker a deal on the ground. I'm sorry, I can't risk going back to Russia. It's a pigsty. I'm reminding you that the Secretary of State can have any foreign diplomat removed off of US soil for any reason. You'd better be right about this, or yours could be the shortest term in State Department history. Elihu B. Washburn under President Grant. 11 days. I looked it up. Congratulations. You just bought yourself two stupid American kids.
You want to tell me how those kids got released? By blatantly circumnavigating your authority? You'd better learn how to work with me instead of around me. My first choice as well. I make a much better ally than an opponent. Same here.